Hello YouTube, Matthew here, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about some more important things in an iOS full system image. And what today's video will cover is the biome as well as some screen time artifacts that you can find on your iPhone image. Now with that being said, I'd like to start the video and roll our intro. Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to my file system. Now in today's video I'm going to be going over the VAR or the VAR mobile library biome directory. And this is where you find all biome artifacts. And the fun thing about biome artifacts are that they are in plain text but they're in a format that we can't quite open in most of our things. And that's because they're in a, set, a format called SEGB. And this SEGB format is just a sort of, just a sort of a blob format that we would find in the SQL tables uh, that we've seen in previous videos. So if we go into the streams folder, we can find most of our data right here and we can find data like Siri stuff. We can find out like stuff like workout data, things that are now playing. We can find car play data, app, app launches and uh, other stuff. So I have a terminal right here to show you what things look like. CD, LCD into, how about app launch? And when we go into app launch, we see here in our terminal that we have a local lock metadata and remote folder. So if we go into local, into our local directory is where we can find some data that we have a uh, CD okay we have this tombstone folder which is possibly empty and this 7431 whatever document that is going to be our segby file so now in order to open our segby files since they're kind of blob data what we need to go ahead and do is we need to put that into our hex editor of choice. So in this case, since I'm in Mac, I'll go to XXD and then seven, seven, four, three. And then first I'll go first. I like to do head. And so we can see here that Segby gives us uh, some some stuff up here. But then it shows the file name at the top too. And then at the end of the magic header is our actual magic numbers for our Segb file, Segby F, which we get. And then if we go for 500 octets, Let's see, minus L500. We can see springboard backlight transition reason idle time. So we can see here that at some point there was some apple purple buddy some and something that happened with the apple springboard backlighting controller and other stuff so yeah in this case the screen timed out and the screen closed because again 
because it was its idle timer. Its idle timer ran out. Okay, yeah, then just scrolling through all of this, all these octets worth of stuff from Okay, so yeah, 1300 octets from this shows Apple Purple Body FS FSB scene layout workspace transplantation thirty four twenty and yeah it shows a lot more stuff so from the home screen Apple preferences so it shows a lot of more activity from apps that were launched and apps that were closed. So you can see the gist of this one. And now let's go see another one really quick. Now we can take a look at, let's see. Okay, let's check out the screen time request. CD screen time request folder. Okay, screen time request. Okay, actually, there's nothing in here. So then let's CD into. user focus activity okay there's also nothing in here CD School timer messages. Okay, there has to be something in the back. Like, yes, there is. C D L C D L. Uh, seven four three one. XXD and then HAD. So, again, as with all other Segby files, you're going to see that in this one, the name and the Segby actually by itself is here. So, now if we go again for 500 octets. Oh, uh, yeah, it's not really readable. Uh, so with that being said, I think that gives you enough information to make sense of what you do with these. 
um, these files in the biome folder. Now when you look at biome files, you could see something like this, or you could see something like this with a little bit more information about what was done, you know, what was done and when it was done. And at some point in time, you can read through and find out a full log of what was happening. And I'll be right back with how this is interpreted within the iLeap app or the iLeap app. So hold on while I get out iLeap. Okay, welcome back, and let's take a look at iLeap now. So, so there's a lot of biome stuff here, to, and you'll be able to see that all this stuff from the biome is has biome next to its name on the heading of the on the heading of the entry in the list over over here. So it shows us when apps were installed. So, for instance, FaceTime was installed at. Your FaceTime was installed at this time during 2024807. And in that case, that was done that way because it was updated at that time from 16.7.8 to 16.7.10. Now the device Wi-Fi, the places where the device Wi-Fi was placed. It was placed on this phone box network for all of its lifespan, wherever it was. The stuff that's in the now playing place. So you see a radio station, 90 or 100.3 the bull. A podcast. another podcast and there's a lot more here so yeah so there was some audio played with a random name and yeah more stuff more stuff here that were played So yeah, and there was also some Safari history stored in the biome, and you can find this here at the biome stuff. Oh yeah, and I should mention users. Private var db biome. So there's different biome related things, databases and whatnot that you can find. So yeah, this is in the now playing stream. And so f for instance, this is, yeah, this is in one of the places that I showed biome streams, public notification, local and whatnot. And biome sync. Yeah, so there's quite a lot of biome data here. So in a test device that you have or within, I guess, within an image that I may provide in, in mine, you could go ahead and check out what biome artifacts are done or what biome artifacts are there. Oh, and yeah, back to earlier in the video when I was showing you the, the database. Okay, this might have been in a different take of this, but 
I was showing a database with three of these. So there was this iPhone 20H 343, which is the iPhone that I'm showing in the image with 16.7.8 at the time. But then this 22A, 22A one is not known which iOS it's on, but I have a great suspicion that this one is on iOS 18 beta, and that's why it's unknown. But yeah, so what you're going to be able to do now with yourself is look through whatever biome stuff that you have and use what I taught you to find whatever things that you may find on there. Now with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys also learned something through it. And with that all being said, please like, subscribe, share, and keep on enjoying forensics everybody. Roll the outro.